Welcome to the Video Dictionary, and it's time for another quick entry. Today I'm taking a look at a word that hits pretty close to home for me, nerd. Noun, someone who focuses much of their attention on something that others might consider a waste of time. History and etymology. There's a bit of controversy around the origin of the word nerd. Probably the most absurd possibility is the idea that it's drunk spelled backwards. And just like night, knife, and knee, the K is silent, thereby leading to the spelling change to our current word nerd. But this sounds a little far-fetched considering the earliest definitions of the nerd may not fit so well. The earliest definitions going something like this. An insignificant, foolish, or socially inept person. Okay, so that last part still kind of applies to the word today, but the only parts that apply to the drunk definition might be only the foolish part, and that's only if you're a stupid drunk when you're drunk. I think for a more accurate origin, we need to go back to the first recorded use of the word nerd in the English language. The word nerd was first heard in the works of Dr. Seuss, If I Ran the Zoo. One of the made-up creatures in this story was a short, grumpy, hairy creature called a nerd. Of course, when you give school children learning words and learning new words for the first time, and especially made-up ones, they want to find uses for them. Within a decade after this book being published in 1950, the word nerd had supplanted a more common insult in schools at the time the word square. And some news sources that I've found from the time seem to have several words competing for dominance from square, drip, scurve, and nerd. Nerd seems to have won this battle and was accepted as a label for people considered losers throughout the English-speaking world. After some time, the word nerd was appropriated by these people that it was being applied to as a badge of honor. People were proudly stating, yes, I have a subject I really care about, and you don't have to find it interesting. I do, and that's all that matters. So, yes, I am a word nerd. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and consider sharing it with a friend who also might find it interesting. Please subscribe to my channels on YouTube and BitChute, you can find the rest of my social media links down below. If you want to help support the project, I'm both on Patreon and Subscribestar. And until next time, keep on learning.